What's good, everybody? It's your boy, YT Dan, back at it again with another episode of Dank Yu-Gi-Oh! News. Today in Dank News, we need to talk again about the ban list, I know. Forgive me. Hey, listen. If you're going to keep putting the ban list up as farmable data for your boy to utilize... I will you till eyes. You see what I'm saying? All right, listen. I have been looking around at the response to the ban list, and I've been seeing a lot of people's opinions. A lot of people are crying, whining, tears from their eyes. And I found something very unique. I don't know if you guys watch M. Cole 40, you know, Market Watch. Yugi Tuber. This guy always has some good news. He's got some grassroots sentiment. He's he's boots on the ground. He's common man, what the average guy is thinking. And he uses that and communicates that through his market watch. He talks about a lot of different stuff, even speculation. And I you know, and and and, and I would argue that market watch analysis plays a huge factor into the overall sentiment of advanced competitive play because if you can watch the markets you understand kind of what some of the big movers are looking at you know who are the big movers you know who are these people in this market who who's in the market being watched we need to ask that question like who's watching what and why are these cars moving you know, Robbie's talking about SP Little Night. The tens are coming out soon. I want to buy the tens. The reason why I wanted to buy the ten is for two reasons. Number one, they banned Apollonia. They ban- they banned your girl. They ba- they banned Helene. They banned her. She's gone. The bow of the goddess is no more in the TCG. And I plan on returning to the TCG. And what I'm going to use is my gladiator beast deck but i sold my sp little knight back in the day so i could fund revival of the duelist but to be very fair i thought i was going to be able to recoup it in the tens but it looks like it might not be in the 10 let's see what robbie has to say and i mean okay that's standard ban list you know fallout but you're two weeks away two weeks from a reprint out here why are we panic buying this right now why is you know the community gobbling at this when the reprint is in two weeks because the expected reprint not going to be 90 dollars expected reprint probably closer to like 50 ish dollars at this point so my next reaction here is does the community legitimately think we're not getting an SP reprint out here? So you just heard what Robbie said. And at this point, there is a weird movement. My speculation is that the people that are buying this is probably number one, speculators, scalpers, people who, ex- who, who either plan to make a profit or people who expect for it for whatever reason they're not to be some sort of sp little knight in the 10 so maybe these are people who are watching the ban list robbie called it the ban list community and it made me think about something the ban list community it made me think about this player it made me imagine this player that imagines konami coming down like a parent separating two squabbling siblings and 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 laying down law as to who is justified and who is wrong you know who's bad who's good you know what i'm saying it's almost like two people are having an argument and they expect konami to be the judge the judge man if you will now listen i'm going to address the garnishia elephantis in the room right now and i'm going to tell you right now Konami is not going to save you. There is no Superman. There is no mass change, my boy. It's not happening. A lot of people looks at the ban list and thinks 
Konami's gonna kill this deck. Konami's gonna take these cards and sure, they might kill a deck. They might take some cards here and there, but Konami's in the business of making money. And if they're in the business of making money, and in the previous video, I did mention to you, they're secretly policing the market by utilizing the ban list, doing reprints, all kinds of other stuff that I mentioned in that video. You can check it out. But primarily, because of this, you know, Konami has an interest into making sure that we have to buy that 10. So if you ban Apollosa, Bow of the Goddess, someone like me who is a rogue duelist who needs Apollosa, and then you banned you banned Apollosa, and I'm a serious, let's just say I'm a serious locals rogue duelist, and I didn't have SP Little Knight because I've always used Apollosa. For whatever reason, maybe Robbie said it's not worth it for wait two weekends. Maybe it is, Robbie, man. Maybe it is. Robbie does talk a lot about like the, the business and the game and the market. But there are some serious players who also have the expendable income to just go, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to locals without this SP, man. So that's another peop uh force that i think is moving the market so you got your scalper folks you got the people who are trying to make a profit who who are speculating and then you got your serious guys who are like man i can't wait those two weeks i gotta have an sp and i haven't got no guarantee from konami and you know how they play the game i'm just gonna take it right now because they're betting on two things number one similar to the speculators if sp isn't reprinted the price is going to skyrocket and as robbie was mentioning the price has been moving a lot recently so as the price keeps moving there's this fear in the market so you know there's a you know so again th these things make you expect when you go to your locals you know what you're gonna see kind of thing so you know again this is so let's get back on like like to the ban list community because this is the whole idea about Konami coming to save them. Like, like Konami gonna fit gonna kill Snake Eye and save them. As I mentioned, Konami's in the business of making cash. They want to make the money. Seriously, that's that's all it really is. And of course, they want to appease the player base as much as they can to keep them as happy, well fed, and and you know paying out the money. But if you think about Yu-Gi-Oh in the way I think about it. From the perspective of the, you know, just starters are key and extenders are kind of passe, you know, they're, they're, that's kind of old school. So you run a deck full of starters. The ban list makes more sense because what they have said, Snake Eyes reign as a deck is now over. It's time for Snake Eyes um, power to be set as a as an engine snake eye will now be an engine for other decks so either you're gonna run snake eye as an engine or you're not gonna run snake eye at all because you can't do the full combo with one poplar because it's a big chance it's a big chance that you're just gonna brick like like again if you understand what i was speaking about in my probability videos where i spoke about the hypergeometric distribution and key cards primarily you know over many many games you might get lucky a couple times and complete the combo sure but many many games that poplar is going to show up more often than not and running stuff like an additional oak as a lot of the i will say higher caliper players say you know running additional oaks is just bad ideas so a lot of people in you in the in the in i would say the quote-unquote ban list community because i've been that salty player too the player who wants konami to come in and save me save my deck save my experience by getting rid of this powerful deck because maybe i will stand a chance i'm gonna tell you something right now if you were rejoicing because apolosa bow of the goddess was banned thinking that oh now i'm finally gonna win locals no you're still gonna lose you're still going to lose apolosa was never the problem it was you and your dueling skills so i'm gonna just leave it with that my boys at this time and we're just gonna get in there with some more dank news and as always